When there's no more room in hell, the dead will listen to Bloodfest the podcast. Hello and welcome to Bloodfest the podcast. This is Nate. I'm your host. Y'all know me. Know what I do for a living. I'm joined tonight, as always, by my good friend, Joey. Joey, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. I can't complain. You could. Try. I, I, try. I, could. I think you could. Nobody, Come on. Nobody gives a shit. D- don't people want to know about the hemorrhoids? Wasn't that the that's, thing you were telling me about? That, that's been taken care of. All right. Not, oh. an, not an issue now. All right. And, as always, I'm joined live via satellite. By our good friend Josh, who just got out of a coma only moments ago. Josh, how are you feeling? I feel like I know that they're not transmitted sexually, but I'm pretty sure Joey gave me his hemorrhoids. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Other than that, I feel tired. And of course, there's Casey. Casey, what's up? Not much. Just happy to be here. Seriously. That that's he all you're gonna do. You give me nothing. I'm very, enthused. To work. <laughs> very excited. No, really, I'm happy to be here because we got a special guest. That's right. Tonight, our very special guest is that horror nerd. Uh, that horror nerd. I I can't do it. I can't say the word horror anymore. That you, horror nerd, JJ. I can't do it. It's you guys threw me off last week. All right. Yes, JJ is a TikTok star. Um, What's up, can, guys? Hey, how's it going? It's going all right. No, just hanging out. Outstanding. So we're going to put up a a card on screen. You want to check out JJ's TikTok channel. It is outstanding. She does daily horror trivia and weekly giveaways, and she's given away some amazing stuff. So people who are watching us live on Twitch or watching us on YouTube, she's going to show you some of the stuff that she gives away. So go ahead and show us the uh, the soap. Yeah, let's get those up there so everybody can see. So you've got the... Uh, the um, I can't see that one. This so- one's from uh, from Lost Boys. Yeah. And it's uh, the box of uh, noodles that turn into worms. And it says... Um, they're only noodles, Michael. <laughs> I love that. And this one that I'm holding, I think, is a strawberry shortcake scent. Nice. And, man, smells spot on to if you have the dessert in front of you. Outstanding. Outstanding. Show the Chucky one. Show the Chucky one. That's what Ooh. I love the most. Yeah, it's the good guy. What's that one smell like? This one is actually my favorite. It's um, it's a chamomile. Nice. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. It's like a, it's a vanilla chamomile. Nice. And awesome. that, that one actually smells really good. I have this in uh, in a different soap um, mold in my locker at work, and I use that to wash my hands. Um, this is actually the best one, if, if I'm being honest. And then what's and then that one? This one. And this one is... Actually, brand new. We just finished making this one not too long ago, so I'm not too sure what the scent is, Mm -hmm. but it is the Pennywise balloon. That's awesome. And it says, we all float down here. (laughs) Love it. Love it. And then can you show the uh, the little dolls? Yeah, so I also do hand-painted horror babies. Uh, Captain Captain Spaulding here. That one should come with a little bag of fried chicken. Right? <laughs> and pinhead. Yeah, I got pinhead. Love it. It's got such sights to show you. All right. Yeah, I'll stand But yeah, up. so I do uh I do, do the horror trivia every day and uh all you got to do is just come onto my TikTok TikTok and uh just drop your answers and if it's right, then I put you in my drawing and as long as it's within that week that I'm doing um, doing my drawings, I count every comment that uh, that everyone puts. I mean, you can't go and comment 500 times yeah. and yeah. have your name in there 500 <laughs> times, but every video counts as, a, as an entry. Outstanding. So you, so you comment on all five videos that I drop in that week, 
your names in there five times. Outstanding. Outstanding. So everybody go and follow JJ's TikTok. Um, also got a Facebook page that you'll want to find. We've got that one up on screen, too. Do you have that up on screen, Joey? There it is. There it is. Uh, so go ahead and find those, and we'll have those in the show notes, too. If you're listening to this, like some kind of old person who doesn't watch the video, we'll have it in the show notes and on our website. So be sure to do that. We are tonight going to talk about the greatest Christmas film of all time we're coming up on the holiday and everyone's feeling festive and so we're going to take some time to tell you about silent night deadly night oh i thought this was about black christmas you said the best christmas horror film ever yeah yeah silent I mean, night deadly only night. if it's the uh only if it's the original <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. the original is definitely the one i'm talking about yeah, yeah. well the, okay uh, to be fair the first remake is pretty good it's a nasty little slasher I like that. No, it but is the, good, yeah. Yeah, but the, the more recent one just fell apart for me. I did not yeah, care for that at all. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no Silent, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Night. Silent Night, yeah, Deadly cool. Night. So yeah, That's for, a must, must watch every Christmas, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. So for the folks at home, if you have not seen Silent Night, Deadly Night, first of all, what is wrong with you people? Go watch that movie. And second of all... This is a film with a pretty straightforward, simple plot. It starts with a, a happy family, and they are driving along. when he's in an orphanage and the orphanage is not a good place for him. It's run by a mother superior who is cruel. And instead of getting him the sort of psychological counseling that he needs, instead she decides to psychologically torture him. And in doing so kind of builds into him the idea that just as the terrible Santa had, had, had taught him that naughty people need to be punished. Um, we we follow Billy for a while in his unhappy childhood, and then we catch up to him as he's reaching adulthood. He gets a job at a toy store where he seems to be pretty happy, and then on Christmas, he gets forced to fill in for Santa Claus, and that's where everything goes south. The next thing you know, Billy is out there punishing the naughty and not really doing anything for the nice, so... Guys, what do we think about Silent Night, Deadly Night? Josh, how do you feel about this movie? You just spoiled the entire thing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did I mention Linnea Quigley? Because that's the only thing in this movie that really matters. Touche. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if, if you watch our show, you don't know who Linnea Quigley is, then yeah, you're... There's a I problem. Don't know what you're doing here. Yeah. But you should watch it just for that alone. Yeah. But yeah, this, this movie's... It's, it's so far off the rails. It's, <laughs> I was reading some facts about it. Apparently, it outperformed Nightmare on Elm Street when it came out. Yeah. Which is insane. What? Yeah. Yep. Like, to begin with, it ca caught up, of course. But it's like, what? Oh, okay. So here's the deal. So, so I, I love that. I'm just old enough to remember this. So when this movie came out and I was, I don't know, six, seven, something like that, I would have had no idea it existed. Except the Christians lost their mind about it and protested at every theater in the country, and that made it make the news. So it was on the news, and all of a sudden, every six- or seven-year-old wanted to see this movie because we were being told it was the worst thing ever, and we couldn't see it, and there was a killer Santa. So, yeah, they made it, they made it a big hit by trying to put a stop to it. I that's think there's a, that's the thing about kids, yeah, man. Exactly. Is you yeah. tell them you can't, they can't do something or can't see something, they're gonna want to do it. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, don't ban a book. Once kids learn a book's banned, they're all over that thing. Yeah, did you? Yeah. That's how you found out about dogma, Josh. Yeah, because dogma is dog shit. <laughs> no, no, because the Christian right said it was bad, so I said, well, it must be good. Then. <laughs> it must be something. Yeah. <laughs> so Casey, so. 
you're not as big a fan as you should be, I take it. You you don't think this stands up to uh to Black Christmas? No, it definitely doesn't stand up to Black Christmas. It's it's good though. I mean I really enjoy it. It's one of my my yearly watches during this time of year. Um the uh that whole montage scene that you you had mentioned uh, earlier when we were talking, uh that was like the best part of the movie. Not not really. Well besides Lene <laughs> Quigley. But uh but yeah, that whole montage of, of uh uh, Billy just, you know, working and and making stupid faces and doping uh, kids, yeah, yeah, yeah them up up to the, yeah. get things off the shelves, yeah. That tonal so shift is so bizarre because up to that point, it's a gritty, dark movie, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's a it's an eighty sitcom musical montage mm-hmm. for some reason. It's like you're in you're in the middle of a uh, break into Electric Boogaloo and they're cleaning <laughs> up the rec center. I don't know. So Joey, yeah. how do you feel about Silent Night? I thought Did it was a really enjoyable movie. To me personally, it was kind of predictable. You know, he suffered a trauma that's just completely unimaginable at such a young age. Just seeing his parents killed from Santa. So it, it, I kind of foresaw that he was going to end up becoming like that evil Santa. But the the, the kill scenes in the movie I thought were great. My Out, absolute favorite kill scene oh, yeah. is when the two bullies go take the <laughs> <a> sled. <laughs> and when that second one goes sled down, Billy just chops his head off with the axe. And you just have that shot with the head laying on the ground. Yeah, outstanding stuff there. So to me, that that's the first best kill that I love. Like that that's my number one. My second would be when Denise was lifted and mounted up. On the deer head? Yeah, on the deer yeah. head. Like, that, I love that to say that, number two. that she she, you know, because Linnea gets her sex scene and then she gets put on the deer head. So it's like she got mounted before she got mounted. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, only, I didn't. Only not, you, Nate. I only you. Not. Uh, so, so JJ, this was you, you said this was your favorite Christmas horror film, right? It is, yeah. So, what do you what and do you love about it? I think it's uh, like you said, it's predictable, and that's because I feel like it could actually happen. Like oh, if yeah. a kid witnessed his parents getting murdered by a Santa, and then everybody in his life acts like his trauma is nothing. I mean. It's yep. just, uh, it kind of goes into that whole mental health thing. Like, it's gonna we, fuck anybody, we gotta take yeah. care of our traumas because if we don't, something something bad's gonna come of it. Nothing yeah. stays buried forever, you know? No, that's a good tagline. Nothing stays buried forever. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like I that. So this movie's got a bunch of sequels, and I think we're all aware of Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 because that's the movie that gave us Garbage Day. And Garbage Day yep. is maybe the greatest thing that's ever happened. But there is a sequel to this that most people don't know about. So have any of you read a novel called The Final Girls Support Group? No, no. I don't read, so. You, I know, you weirdo. You need to, you need Stace, to read this book. This Stacey book would doesn't be know how to read. This book would be up your hey, alley. You don't read either, buddy. So <laughs> That's by choice. This book would be up to, exactly in your wheelhouse, man. So the concept of this book is it, it exists in a world where all of the slasher movies are based on true events. And this is about all of the final girls from various slasher movies. And the main character is Denise from Silent Night, Deadly Night. So the idea is that she survived being hung up on the deer head. And she's part of this support group, and she is writing about her life, and someone's coming to kill off the final girls one by one. So it's a wonderful book, and everyone should read it. Plus, it actually sounds really good. I'll have to check that out. When you're reading it, you're picturing Linnea quickly. So, I mean, that makes it it special. That does sound great, but I do have one question. Was she staring off into space whenever her boyfriend found her? So she was fine? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure she was dead. Nope, nope. She survived it. She survived it. She All was right. playing dead. She was playing dead. But those antlers missed her lungs, barely nicked her liver. And listen, Josh, you can attest a lot of bad can happen to your liver and you can still survive. 
that's that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, I, I did want to bring this up earlier. I think that the uh, the 2019 Black Christmas is the last movie I saw before my liver was like, I'm out of here. That makes sense, <laughs> honestly. It was right before. <laughs> I went to the hospital and started all over it. I said, I'm never watching that piece of shit again. <laughs> you know what? That actually does kind of line up because I remember you had the digital code for it and you're like, you don't want it. I'm not, I'm not even offering it to you. You don't want it. And then right after right. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Josh is on his second liver, by the way. That's, we, we, in, we enjoy making jokes about it, but it's true. He almost died. You enjoy making jokes about it. <laughs> <laughs> so does Josh. He enjoys yeah. it. I'm making, I'm making uh, enough for everybody. That's why I'm <laughs> drinking water instead of what I should be drinking. Yeah, water. Water. I've got a car full of booze right now. And it's just calling to you? No, no, not calling really. Calling to me. Christmas presents. I had to buy Christmas presents. Calling present. to me, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got, got some Basil Hayden out there. Um, what else do I have? I showed it, it like to you, Joe. Yeah, no, sure. it's a bourbon. It's a top-tier bourbon. It's good stuff. If I were still drinking bourbon, I'd be, I'd be drinking that right now. All right, so I have a theory about Silent Night, Deadly Night that Billy is not the villain. Billy is merely oh, a victim. Oh, it's for sure Mother Superior. Dad, she thank is. you. She's the monster in this movie, and it is oh, yeah. tragic that she survives. That pissed me off. If anybody yeah. in that movie deserved to die, it was that bitch right there. Yes, she's yeah. a monster. She was a brutal bitch. And and also, yes, she was. I have wondered about this forever. Who are the two people banging in the orphanage? That was random. Right? Yeah, who it's, are those that's people? So random. <laughs> and also, yeah, good, good <laughs> also was is this was she supposed to find them? Was this their kink? They want to be hit with the belt. <laughs> Am I the only one who thought that? Yeah, you must be. Oh, I'm telling you. I mean, now that you say that, I mean, why would they be hooking up at the orphanage knowing Mother Superior is right around the corner? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I think they had some kind of BDSM thing going on. Where's yours, Joey? <laughs> Bastard. Joey's leaving. He doesn't want any part of this. What? Well, you know how it is. He got all excited and start talking about hitting people with belts. <laughs> well, since he's leaving, we can quickly touch on the fact that Mother Teresa gets hers in the end, just not in this one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Just not in this movie. Yeah, yeah. He's just impatient and decided not to watch the second one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watched... I, I watched, didn't need to get that. I, I watched I'm, the second one. Uh, was that today or yesterday? That was yesterday, I think. I rewatched they the They all flow one. into one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, the second one is just the first one. Yeah. With, yeah. like, two minutes of extra scenes. Pretty well... Much. But it has the best eyebrow acting that you will ever see in your life. That man's eyebrows have gone into business for themselves. <laughs> they are running the show. I actually saw mm. online someone counted how many times he like arches his eyebrows up. It's like it's like two hundred or something in the course of that movie. Jeez. My God, <laughs> it's probably just Morse code for "help me" over yeah, and over. Probably. <laughs> Does that guy even play in anything else besides that movie? I think so, actually. Okay, hold on. I, I believe so. I believe he has actually had a long career. But hold on. We're going to find out. You guys uh, vamp or something while I go look this up. Vamp? Yeah. Like, turn into Eric, vampires or? Eric Freeman. Is yeah. The guy. Yeah, but it's, it's been a long time since I've seen this one. Probably a few years, actually. Oh, dang it. Stop it, phone. Okay, yeah. Too. There we Back go. in the day when I first looked him up, it was like 2014 or something like that, and they didn't know where he was. Oh, really? Um, I'm reading Wikipedia, and it says that he returned to acting in 2016. So, okay. Yeah, he, he did nothing. He doesn't <laughs> like do conventions or anything. I'd be all over the place. He's He was in a Law yeah. & Order this year. Yep. Um, Interesting. He was on The Blacklist, Blue Bloods, of Law & Order SVU, uh, Bull. I don't know what Bull is. But yeah, he's had quite a few like TV style things, like guest spots and stuff. So he's doing stuff. And actually his like his uh his uh uh like headshot, he's actually kind of pretty. He's not not nearly as weird looking as he is in that movie when he's yelling garbage day. So 
Oh no. You mean I think you said iconic wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best moment of that of that movie, Garbage Day. I love it. Oh, it is. Sure. Yeah. 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 It's worth watching the whole movie. Like Yes. Just, you know, because <laughs> you get to one, you get to see Silent Night, Deadly Night over again, and yeah. then you get to see Garbage wow. Day. And the like, little aside, like when it replays the the sledding beheading, and then him, he always hated bullies. It's like, <laughs> <what the> hell? <laughs> you didn't think you needed those things punctuated, and then here he yeah, comes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the best little right. one liners. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. Well, it's genius. I mean, movies are expensive. We gotta cut corners somewhere. Just replay the first movie. <laughs> Honestly, and it's not that weird. Watch uh, the uh, uh, Friday the 13th movies. They, like, recap the end of the previous movie every time for, like, no apparent reason. They just do, to, though. Just to pad it out. Like, uh, Friday the 13th 2, it's so weird because it replays the end of the previous movie and then has the scene just to kill off the final girl. Like, why? There's no need for it. We're just going to do it. I mean, and back then, though, everybody just did what they wanted with the movies. Yeah, yeah there were no rules. Slashers yeah. were new. Just, just. Those were the best and You said uh, Billy doesn't do anything for the good, but one of my favorite scenes in that movie is when he finds the little sister. And he's like, have you been good all year? Oh, yeah, and yeah. she says yes, and he gives her the bloody... Uh, box cutter. <laughs> yes, bloody box, the box cutter. cutter. Yeah. So, my, so I was watching this with my wife, and her immediate thing was, there should be a sequel about that girl. Yeah, there, there she, should it should be like, like, yeah, her all grown up, and she's going out to punish the naughty with her bloody box cutter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, would, that would be a pretty good sequel, too. Yeah, that could work. It would be better than the trash that came after first one. The second I, I, one leaves. I don't understand you. The second one is amazing. The second one's alright. I mean, it's... I just hated that it was like 80% of the, the original so, movie. It so was weird. I do not remember 3, 4, or 5. I just bought them so I can watch them again. Um, isn't... um? Oh, crap. I'm blanking on his name. Uh, he was the biggest yeah. star in the world. Don't yeah me. The biggest <laughs> what in the world? The biggest star in the world. Um, Porn star? Mickey Rooney. Isn't Mickey Rooney in one of them? What? I really don't remember any of the other ones I'm after look two. It up. I'm um, look it except up. for like maybe somewhere in my memory, like one where they bring like Billy or the brother back to life to Yeah, Rick so yeah, Rick that's the third one. And that's Ricky played by Bill Mosley. Yes, Bill Mosley's yeah. in that one. Yes. Okay, hold okay. on, hold on. I got it. Silent Night, Deadly Night Five, The Toy Maker. Yep, that's what I'm looking uh, for. Mickey Rooney's Mickey in Mickey Rooney stars in that one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that one I have never seen before. Yeah. And I, well, I hadn't seen three, three through five until this weekend. I so three, that uh, that one has got to be good because Mickey Rooney was completely unhinged, like like just in real life. So he's got to be good oh. as a killer Santa. <laughs> <laughs> there's so there's he was on an episode of the twilight zone called the night of the jockey back in the 60s right and on the dvds of the twilight zone uh this guy named uh mark zickry who like wrote the definitive book about the twilight zone he does commentaries and he'd get as much as he could find people involved in the show that were still alive, he'd get them on to come do commentaries. And he got Mickey Rooney to come do a commentary on that episode. And it's the most fun I've ever had listening to a running commentary because for 28 minutes, Mickey Rooney keeps saying, shut up. I'm not answering questions about this. These kids today don't know who I am and they don't know this show and they don't want to hear it. And that's all he'll do. He won't. <laughs> The guy's like, so did you did you enjoy working with Rod Serling? Fuck you. Nobody knows who I am. So it's great. <laughs> and he's totally not drunk, I swear to God. Sober as a judge. Yeah, part of five house and I mean it's a four point five out of ten on IMDB, which I think is better than the three and four. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely have to, it's still got Clint Howard in it, so Oh well yeah, Clint Howard. A, I like him. He's a big plus of uh, yeah. three and four. And Ron Howard's brother. Yes, that is Ron Howard's brother. He's the ice cream man. Which I saw that here a few months ago. A couple yeah. months yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, it's a good Didn't movie. It's a good movie. movie. 
Everybody likes Clint Howard. Yeah. yeah. Nice dude. Yeah. yeah. So, does anybody else have any final thoughts about Silent Night, Deadly Night, before we move on? I, I think it's just, when you think of 80s slasher movies, that, that truly defines the classic slasher movies you would see of that time period. Oh, I, absolutely. I think you're wrong. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. JJ, you agree with me, don't you? Oh yeah, it's See? uh, it, I mean, it checks every box for uh, for what '80s horror was back then. I mean, you get good kill scenes, you got tits, you got sex, you you, you have everything yep. that makes for a classic '80s slasher. Sweet. And the most important thing is, it's all so unnecessary too. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. 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 The top. yeah. Well, there's no reason. So Linnea Quigley is there just to show her boobs and get killed. That, that's it. I mean, she doesn't yeah. have a character. There's no arc for her. Well, she's a babysitter. But yes, she's the babysitter. <laughs> I, that, 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 that's very, a character arc, I that Very important character. We know nothing about her except that, you know, she's got boobs and she gets killed. So. <laughs> right. And this is our podcast. Boobs and get killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I don't... Uh, what is, I'm trying to think of that other... There's a oh Christmas Evil. I think, oh yeah, I think I like that one better, honestly, as a Christmas horror movie. Um, that and Black Christmas. But I would Black say Black Christmas is awesome. I would say Silent Night Daily Night is my third favorite for sure. But, mm. uh, yeah, mm. I, th- I, th- I really like Christmas Evil a lot. I've watched oh. it. Okay, but uh, Silent Night Deadly Night's one of those ones too that like you're just cheering for Billy the whole time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. You, you almost want him to become a killer Santa just to show everybody, like, should have taken his trauma seriously. Should yeah. have, yeah. yeah, don't do this to kids. this child, you know. And you well, make a good point. It, it now that you said that, it, it is kind of a revenge film. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because nobody took his trauma seriously, yeah. and he suck out revenge. Well, the young, the younger nun does take it seriously, but she does not have yeah, the power she, she to she help him. Yeah. 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 Well, and also, he's like, oh, he'll be all right. Yeah. When he snaps, his, initially, what's he do? He murders a would-be rapist, right? So, yeah. you can kind of get behind that. That's okay. Yeah. Then he also murders the victim of the would-be rapist, but to be fair, yeah, but she, she was, was mean to him. Yeah, she was mean to him. So, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? It, it is a revenge. Film. And I, I didn't think of that, and so what JJ said, and I was like, "Oh yeah, it, it kind of is a revenge film." Yeah. So has everybody seen Christmas Bloody Christmas? I know that Casey has. Anybody else? No, I've not. I don't think so. It's I brand haven't. new. It's on Shutter. It's uh, it's so the in RoboCop, the bad robot. I can't remember the name of it. The TC two thousand or whatever. Yeah. So imagine if that were Santa Claus. So it's um they they defense department has killer robots that weren't selling, so they rework them to be like mall Santas, and they revert to their original f- firmware and start killing everybody. So it's a it's good fun. It's good fun. It's like Chopping Mall. Yes, it is a bit like Chopping yeah, Mall. But with, yeah, right. yeah, that. that's yeah, okay, nice. that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think it started out a little bit slow. Like I didn't. There was a lot of just like hanging out at the bar and talking. The, the two main stuff. characters become pretty annoying for a while, yeah. but I mean, I understand but, them. I get them. You know, yeah. they're 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 young. They want to talk about movies and music and get drunk and try to figure out if they're going to have sex. Yeah. So I mean, sure. I get it. I get it. And then Santa shows up and kills everybody. So it's good yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely recommend got, that one. Yeah, it's got some good gore. Hard yeah, to kill. That, that dude, uh, what's his name? Jeff Jeffrey Daniels or whatever. He's from, yeah, the, uh, yeah. from the Rob Zombie films. Yeah, no, he's got three names though. It's Jeff Daniels. Yeah, it's something. Something Jeff Daniels. Like, yeah. what is his name? He's not Richard Brake. I know that. You know, you got this thing called Google. No, I don't. I got rid of it. Elon <laughs> Musk said I'm not allowed to use it anymore. No, he just said you couldn't promote your uh, other social media. Oh, channels. that's right. That's right. 
<laughs> Damn. What is his name? Look it up. I'm looking. I'm You're looking. Find Somebody here. find it out. Jeff Daniel Phillips. Jeff Daniel What's Phillips. It? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's driving me nuts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's he's in it. He's pretty good in it. I don't know either of the two main actors. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it. I've seen either of them in anything before. But once again, it's a it's a Shutter original, and uh, Shutter's just really killing it. So hopefully, AMC doesn't oh, shut Shutter's them down. Oh, Shutter's great. Yeah. yeah, I actually need to uh, renew my subscription. It went went out in like two months ago. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's the honestly I'm for me. It's person the, shutter, man. <laughs> it's the it's the streaming service that I have to have. The others, most of the time, I can kind of let go, but I have mm-hmm. to have Shutter. They just actually a new movie popped up today that I watched called The Apology. That's pretty good. Yeah, do you ever jo- watch? Uh, didn't you guys watch the Joe Bob Flash Drive in? I haven't seen the new one yet. I haven't seen yeah, the new one. That's, that was the reason I got Shutter. Uh, well, that well actually, I take that back. Joe Bob was on Shutter, so I did want it. But then also Elvira came on one weekend yeah. and did a, a show. So that was the the tipping point for me to to go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I've, I've always got to watch Joe Bob's Last Drive, and that's that's some good yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's it's fun. Some of the movies he uh, hosts are a little a little difficult to make it through. He did. Yeah, I agree. He, he did things, and honestly, yeah. I I don't need to set through that. That's painful. Right. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I agree. Hogzilla, he did Hogzilla. Yeah. That was a rough yeah. one. It was okay. I had, had fun with that. Oh, I I couldn't. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, but so, what are other Christmas movies that we enjoy? Joey, Home Alone, uh, <laughs> National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. That's oh yeah, that's movie. a must watch. It's it gets funnier horror. every it's, year too. It, it's not horror, yeah. but to me, that's always going to be number one. Well, it does have Randy Quaid in it, and he is pretty horrific. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of went sideways. He's he's, he, he's different. His cheese slid off his cracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank he, you. He went nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Josh, horror fil- or uh, apparently not even horror films, Christmas films that you enjoy. The night well, before. Uh, what? The night before. What is that? You never seen the night before with what? Seth Rogen. With who? Seth Rogen, uh, James Franco. Oh, I have heard of that. Oh. I haven't seen it though. No, uh, that's such nothing. a great movie. Michael Shannon, I think, is his name. I like Michael Shannon. He's a really good actor. Yeah, he's in it. He sucks. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> sucks. Does it? Is I it something know. that sucks? It sounds like something that sucks, but it's a great. Movie. I don't like it. It's Seth Office, Rogen, so it's probably not good. Office Christmas Party is a better. Uh, Christmas comedy, I think. Have you guys seen that? No. no. Is that no. The Jason yeah, that one's pretty one? good. Yeah, Jason Bateman. And, yeah, that was uh, Jennifer great. Aniston. Yeah, it's good. Um, Deadly Games is a really good one. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome released it. Oh, yeah, okay, a, yes. I think it's what? Is it French? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I think it's French. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's also called Dial, Dial Code Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Yep. That's um, a Home Alone movie, though. That's Home Alone. I mean, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. a darker Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, a good one. Yeah. It's really, really good. Um, that one was a blind buy just because the artwork on the slip looked amazing and people kept talking it up. But yeah, I'm glad I picked that one up. Yeah. Oh, I need to get that because I don't have a copy of that. I need to pick that up. Yeah. I don't know if the, a good one. the slip cover version sold out or not, but regardless, yeah, it's definitely worth getting. Well, you know how it is. I, I throw the slip covers away as soon as I get them. Yeah, right. Set them on fire. <laughs> yeah. What about uh, Jack Frost? I, I now dude, that's Joey, a I think good one. Got that. uh, yeah. yeah, I just got Jack Frost. This is the horror movie. I, I, the comedy horror. I've actually yeah. have not seen it personally, but when I... the art You've seen just, it impersonally, though? No, I haven't. Personally, <laughs> I haven't seen it. But the the art just looks incredible on it, and that kind of drew me to it. So it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I I just got that in Friday. We should be watching that. Right? Where are we watching this? Right? We should be watching Killer yeah, Snowman. It yeah, it's idiotic, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Actually, are any of you guys gonna see uh, the new Grinch horror movie? The oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hundred percent. So that yep. and Blood and Honey are two that are just very much on my list. Oh yeah! I cannot wait for Blood and Honey. Yeah, that's Kill, kill Winnie the Pooh. 
I've been waiting for that my whole life. I always felt like that Christopher Robin kind of deserved something, so. <laughs> um, let's see. Rare Exports. I know I've watched that before. That's that awesome. Movie. That's a terrifying Santa Claus. Yeah, that's a yeah. Finnish horror movie. I was just yeah. looking at a list of, like, top yeah. Christmas horror movies. Um, is... And then we, talk, we were talking earlier about Krampus. Um, yeah, Krampus is good. There are actually a, a number of Krampus films. Yeah. But... Yeah, there's a ton of shit ones. I mean, the 2015 Krampus is, I'm sure, the yeah. best one, probably. Uh, uh, with a, Adam Scott and Tony Collette. A, have you seen A Christmas Horror Story? Actually, yeah. William because yeah. I've, seen it. Yeah. I've seen it multiple times, but that yeah. was one of Joe Bob's movies this weekend. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. A, really good, that's a really good one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that it one. is. Um, better Watch Out. Yeah, I forgot mm, about that mm -hmm. one. That one's really, really that good one's in fun. 2016. That one has a nice little twist. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that that little boy in there. Have you seen that one, JJ? I have not. Yeah, definitely so check the, out. Better watch it's, out. It's it's a babysitter in peril movie. The it's Christmas time. She's babysitting okay. the little boy, and scary things start to happen. Mm -hmm. And it has a nice little twist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't uh, normally like uh, uh, musicals, but Anna and the Apocalypse from 2017. Um, you know, you know what my really problem with that, that movie was? So good. You know what my problem what? with that movie was? It's a fucking musical. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I get it because yeah, I don't normally like watching musicals, but I just well, I like musicals, and I just I just got it on Blu-ray uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Whenever we were, actually it was, the, it was the week we were doing the Halloween special. Oh, because I got the mask with it, and and it was oh, nice. yeah. I love. I, I watch that movie probably once a year. It's really good. You mean yeah, you actually is. got something that didn't get stolen? Yeah, <laughs> this this was before that. I don't, no. I don't think the guy moved in yet. No, okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, did the guy who's still in your stuff? Did he replace the dead guy? That's a good he... question. I don't know no. that. That's a tw that's a twist. So <laughs> Josh had a had a uh, uh, a crime scene in the apartment above him, and blood dripped down into his bathroom. Oh, geez. Like, seriously? Excited. Yeah, yeah. pretty excited. <laughs> He was out there. He bought luminol and the special light to check and see where all the blood was in his bathroom. It was awesome. It was a pretty fun couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Maybe. Josh maybe. just has all the exciting stuff happening. <laughs> blood dripping down, two livers. Yeah. Maybe yeah. The, he's, the package he's thief is a ghost. <laughs> Dead guy taking yeah. his revenge. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you live in kansas city i don't know yeah. i lived in kansas city and um i never had a crime scene above me <laughs> um never had two. joey you probably have somebody else in your house right now yeah what are you talking about, <laughs> what are you talking about me for? <laughs> there, well, there, I mean, there's I, a meth head scratching on the window <laughs> as we speak i mean i did hear somebody That's get murdered cat. the so cat's on that, meth there's that night i heard one dude shot and killed somebody. Yeah, yeah. And then that he was, came home. That was yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I we're we're caught... definitely going to get kicked off of TikTok for this. We're one, not on too. TikTok. <laughs> we're on oh, Twitch. Yeah, 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 right. We're on Twitch. Is Twitch. the Twitch thing still working, by the way? Yeah. You still? Yeah. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. Yeah, every time we try to go live on TikTok, we get suspended. Oh, hey, that's us. Yeah. For bullying. TikTok sensitive. Yeah, Just apparently. like this, uh, this generation, you know? Apparently yeah, talking about easy. movies is considered bullying. Well, I posted uh, the other – I post movies on my TikTok. So I've got my own TikTok. It's Midlife Media, and uh, I just post all the pickups I get. And uh, um, they flagged my – one of my latest posts for The Doll Squad, The oh. Vinegar Syndrome. And it's like Char it's like Charlie's Angels. It's it's yeah. just a movie, and they flagged it for adult sexual activity. They said like sexual activity with adults. I'm like, well, what if it was with kids? Would, yeah, that would be would worse. Be okay, like why do you put adults in there? Like what? I I don't get it. It's not a it's not an adult film. It's I a I posted a TikTok that had the poster for I Spit on Your Grave, and and they took it down. Well, you can see well, like a little have, bit of her butt. butt cheek. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can see that one. But the Doll Squad had zero female body parts or anything on it, so I, like I don't know what. It's not an adult film, so yeah. that's like the fifth time they've done that to me. So 
I'm kind of getting, yeah. getting sick of it. That's really the only reason I have my Facebook is to post my TikTok videos that get taken down, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just have yeah, a, back out, a backup. It's out there, you know? That's true. That's a good point because none of the stuff that's gotten taken on, because I've got them linked. So, um, or, well, I've got my Instagram linked. So I'll post that same stuff on Instagram, but they don't, mm -hmm. they've never taken any of that stuff down on Insta. Mm -hmm. And then it's linked to my Facebook, and they've never taken any of that stuff down. It's just been TikTok that's been the problem. Yeah, I never have any problem on, on Twitter or Facebook with, with any of it. It's always TikTok. So I have to ask. JJ, your shirt looks pretty kick-ass. What what does your shirt look like underneath the uh, Have a Killer Christmas? Killer yeah, Clowns so from Outer Space. Oh, no! That is Fantastic. awesome. awesome. I, I just kept looking at that like, what, what is that? That That is awesome. awesome. There's supposed yeah, to be a clowns. Killer Clowns from Outer Space and, TV show. And what about you, Josh? And what do you game. believe There's in? There's supposed to be a game, too, yeah. Really? The game looks awesome. Uh, yeah. Josh yep. believes in... He's got the, the oh, Santar... Nice. The sands are. <laughs> nice. Now show your shirt. I just got the blood fast shirt on. Yeah. I will. Nice. <laughs> well, currently I don't have anything on. That's, that's well, that makes sense. Podcast goes. Joey podcasts <coughs> pantsless, so I don't know. He, he, <laughs> say, he says it's the only way the stream will work. I, I don't understand. But. And why well, is that why you had pants on earlier and the microphone is shit, so... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have to do it here because if I'm at my house, you'll just hear my dogs barking. There are seven yeah. of them now. Yeah, seven. Well, I mean, we, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, we got one dog here and he's noisy as shit, but I, usually he doesn't bark during the podcast, luckily. Well, it's because he knows what you're doing. I guess. I was a little worried about my dogs. I have a Siberian husky and she just nice. loves to howl. Oh, wow. Loves nice. to talk. Yeah, those I are, those are talkative dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a Malinois. A pit bull, a corgi mix, and pray for me, four chihuahuas. Ooh, those oh, chihuahuas are pray for you. You did that yourself. <laughs> now, it's not my fault. People die. People move and can't keep their dogs. I just end up with dogs. Do you can't ever say think no. maybe the chihuahuas killed them? Actually, there's a possibility <laughs> that Fido did. Yeah. Honestly. Well, those are some creepy-ass dogs. <laughs> So, no, okay, so I have the two chihuahuas I already had, which both were rescues because people died. But, so Tiny Dog and Thicky are both just darling, wonderful animals. They are. And then we've got this tiny, 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 like, smaller than a chihuahua should be, Fido, and she's a monster. She's a monster. She she picks a fight with the pit bull. That's small dogs for you. The smaller they are, the crazier they are. It's insane. <laughs> that that's probably about as truthful as you can get right there. Chihuahuas are assholes. They are. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Pomeranians. Fuck Pomeranians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those yeah, bouncy those little ones. fuckers. Look, there's there's a TV show where a Pomeranian eats somebody, but I can't think of what it, Oh, it was an X Files episode. It's probably a documentary that no, happened. It was an X Files. <laughs> it was an X Files. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember our parents had uh, friends who had a Pomeranian, and that, it was the biggest asshole ever. I hated that dog. Who so, was that? First name only. Gail and Colleen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they okay. had a little Pomeranian. That little fucker would just come up and start eating your ankles and shit. Yeah, and yeah what was the so dog's name? First name only. I don't know the dog's <laughs> name. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are not at all off the rails here talking yeah. about, about Christmas. Sounds normal to me. Days. So, guys, as we always do, what's exciting you in the coming week? What's going on, Josh? Uh, shit. <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> Christmas. Fuck I don't know. Christmas. I, just, I hate this season. Oh, I God, it. I hate everything about it. Get me back to Halloween. Bring me back to Halloween. I suck in exactly. that. Any new That's movies it. coming out? Anything you're excited for? Come on. Um, give me something. Well, at the first of the year, I want to see what uh, – I want to try and get back into Vinegar Syndrome once they reopen it and yeah. see what they got. Um, pretty excited to get they, something. I don't know. They've got a whole new subline coming, the Vinegar Syndrome Lab. And I'm crossing yeah. my finger that it's going to be something absolutely insane like Vultures of Horror because I really want them to do Vultures of Horror. 
Hmm, never heard of it, but that's that's Check the it out. thing I'm. I'll have to look that up because that yeah, does sound interesting. Oh, it interesting is not the right word. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I think it's the, on YouTube. Uh, I think it's on YouTube. Is there anything? Have like any of you guys gimmick? seen the no. previews for Violent Night? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought it like was going to be a horror movie, so I bought tickets. I'm going to see it tonight. But then I watched the the trailer again, and it looks more like a like a Christmas action movie. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like a John Wick with Santa Claus type thing. Yeah, I, yeah. like some uh, some Die Hard going on. Yeah, because yeah. I thought the same. If you just look at the movie poster, you think it's going to be a yeah. horror movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought but Killer then, Santa. Yeah, yeah, it's like well, that sucks. So uh, you guys will find this amazing. You're all going to be jealous. On Wednesday, I'm going to the movies. Um, I'm going to go see Puss in Boots, The Final Wish. Yeah, I don't think anybody's jealous. I'm taking yeah. my little nieces to go see the new Puss in Boots. They're they're five, seven, and nine years old. Well, they're if you very were a good, excited. Uncle, you would just sit them down and show them The Exorcist. So okay. actually, actually, I have almost got everyone who gets a say in this convinced that I can let them watch Jaws. That's a good one. The, the five-year-old is obsessed with sharks. And I'm like, I think, I think they're all ready for Jaws. I think we can do Jaws. Oh, it's Christmas season. You should yeah. show them Santa Jaws. Oh, Santa. That's, not <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. So I think that was laughably bad. I, I enjoyed it. Even I figure, though I shouldn't have. I figure if they survive <laughs> Jaws, then they can watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. That's, that's not a good step. That's that's not what you should do at all. Why is that not the right step? That feels like the right step to me. Mm, no, I'd probably move on to something like Alien or something. Maybe. Yeah, like I think they don't that's have too. Stilts. I think Alien. No, or I the think the thing. The thing, maybe. I think Alien might be a little too slowly paced for a five-year-old. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, you got a good point there. Yeah, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre Two's got good humor in it, and all, kids love cannibalism. Sure. All right. See, you're laughing yeah. at that, but these children love cannibalism. Um, so I mean, they went crazy for the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix series. So it, you got exactly. A point. Exactly. It's almost like they never knew Jeffrey Dahmer existed until the documentary came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that was a, that was. A long they, time all, ago. they all think he's hot and everything, which is a little weird. Con- yeah. It's a little weird considering you know he. Murdered people and ate them. Wait and until they're introduced. Them into Whenever I look at Jeffrey Dahmer, I just like imagine being at the liquor store with mm-hmm. like the guy who just like you can smell that he's drunk. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. coming out of his pores. Like that's what Jeffrey Dahmer looks like. He smells like. So I was <laughs> like, I don't know who finds that attractive. He just looks like he had a yeah. weird smell. I think the and most... he's eating humans, so that adds to the smell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Ooh, think about I, the sweat. I I think the most charming serial killer would be Ted Bundy, and hands down, Ted Bundy was a very charming guy. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I think I think H. H. Holmes <laughs> must have been pretty charming. Everybody was coming to his hotel. None of those people are charming. Don't. You're H. H. Holmes charming. had a wonderful mustache. <laughs> you knew you could trust him. Nice bowler hat. Yes, exactly. Okay. He's a man of substance. You could tell. Look at the mustache. So, JJ, are you excited about anything coming up for the next week? Um, I got family in town, so, you know, just going to try to do as much Christmassy stuff as possible. You know, work, slave away. That's about it. Don't work. Quit your job. TikTok podcast. I tried. Uh, it'd be nice. It'd be yeah. nice if they pay us for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we, but what? We, you know, don't say where you work. But what kind of work do you do? If you don't mind me asking. I actually do uh, furniture repair. So cool. Um, oh, awesome. I take broken furniture and pretty much uh, just fix it up and make it look brand new again. Like right, nothing well, was ever I'm wrong gonna... with it. Grab this webcam because my recliner it it's broke and I need advice on how to take <laughs> it. So yeah, here, I'll just take this and we'll go off the rails here. Doofus. I think we've already gone off the rails. We're yeah. This always happens, and I I blame Josh. It's always yeah, Josh. It's, it's all good. It was always. It was always <laughs> I am on medication. Lots That's of true. medication. <laughs> I'm on lots of medication. How oh, many yeah. how, how many pills do you take a day? 11. 
Oh, no, you got me beat. I'm at Good Lord. five, so you got me beat. Yeah, you but you have fun beat. pills. If I had well, to take they're 11 pills a day. They're not fun. <laughs> fun. The, my, my doctor called them the don't kill yourself pills. So That's I mean, fun to me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's usually what fun's labeled with. <laughs> Oh, I just I take vitamins because <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> well, <laughs> Joey, Joey takes Viagra right before we record, but I still don't know why. It, it, it's uh, because <laughs> you weird... don't have a mic stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think my mic mo- is holding up my mic? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, and JJ is never going to be on our podcast. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be like, "What the uh, fuck is wrong with these guys?" Well, you know what? So we were just uh, coming uh, back every week now. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and I just guested on a on a show called Dads from the Crypt, where they talk about Tales from the Crypt. Although this episode, they were talking about a an, an episode of Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, and it was so hard for me because those people are professionals. And I kept starting to say something and then biting my tongue and remembering, oh, no, wait, these are grown-ups. I can't make that joke. So <laughs> it was very difficult. So you had to come back to the playground and unload it here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, Casey was on recently with uh, Master Chaos and Bottom of the Barrel podcast. Which, by the way. Yeah, that was fun. That was, that was awesome, Casey. Um, and I really want to find out some of the stuff about how they do their stream. I, I don't even how they how they even handle that many people on at once. Well, I know they're using Streamyard for okay. sure. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know. I, they they take turns hosting it too. So so like next time it's going to be that Mel uh, from My Killer Podcast that's doing it, doing the hosting. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about it. I mean. That OGP guy, uh, he was the one that was running the show that I was on. Uh, and, yeah, I just noticed it was StreamYard. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should try StreamYard at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. be worth it. Well, I think, is that that's, isn't that one supposed to let you stream to, like, more Mul- places at once? Multiple platforms. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. It, okay. It's very, it's a lot of podcasters use it and they prefer it. Okay. Okay. Outstanding. Uh-oh. Hold on. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. What, you get well, off of Twitch? <laughs> uh, yeah. The thing I'm excited for is uh, something you kind of already mentioned was the uh, vinegar syndrome, uh, the stuff coming up for the new year. Yeah. Because um, they said, just looking at the uh, the email we got, um, they're going to be, it's going to be their 10th year next year. Um, so they're going to have 10 brand new titles during that first week. Um, and they're supposed to have, if I remember right, um, yeah, a daily selection mm-hmm. of ten items discounted to ten dollars each. Yeah, I'm excited so about that. Change, that. I that's, might just blind buy as many of them as I can. Yeah, yeah. For, I would for ten bucks a piece. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's like forty dollar movies, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, for the a lot most of part. them are for yeah. the, the yeah, thirty, MSRP. forty. Yeah. And when is this? Um, so the first January of so January first through seventh. Yeah. Um, oh, and that's the the. Uh, on January 1st, they're going to announce four new titles and then one of their uh, Vinegar Syndrome Ultimate titles. Yeah. Um, so that's right. that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, do you, uh, JJ, do you collect, uh, are there boutique labels that you collect for, like Vinegar Syndrome or? Severin or? Anything? Or do you just buy whatever, whatever you just... like? Or? Yeah, I just buy whatever I like. I uh, I do blind buys sometimes, and it's pretty much like I just base it off of like the the art on the cover. Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't bought any like in the last few months just because of the whole Christmas thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but hopefully, like I'm gonna get to go uh, do some shopping here soon, and you know. Get some more. I gotta go through my movies again because I always end up with so many doubles. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, and that's like that something that I do um, <laughs> on the holidays for whenever a giveaway kind of falls on a holiday. I'll mm-hmm. get one of my doubles and send someone a movie. You know, gotta spread that horror movie love. Yeah. Now that's nice. I'm yeah. I'm too selfish to do that. Where you? <laughs> now where you uh, live? Here where we live, like we have a store called Vintage Stock, which is just, it, it's basically a store that just has everything, but they have a massive selection of Blu-rays, 4Ks, just 
every movie possible. They're, a chain. they're, uh, they're not just here. They're they're a well, chain, they're locally. They're not, yeah, uh, they're a chain, and it's not just local. I mean, do, you, yeah, do you have stores like that where you're at? Um, they're kind of dying off. Um, here in Colorado, I I can go to Denver and find some uh, some good places there, but they're all just really like uh very very like small um very small like business owned so i mean there's not too much of it doesn't uh you, you mentioned denver doesn't denver have a horror themed bar or am i thinking of some other place they did and uh they actually closed down for a while because of some controversy with oh. uh with the owner um, but I did hear that somebody bought the location and they're opening up another horror bar. So oh, I'm cool. pretty excited for that. Awesome. Good to hear that. Nice. So I've never been to Denver, but uh, very beautiful. I I, I go Denver. to Estes Park, Colorado sometimes, which is where nice. the Stanley Hotel is, which is the greatest place in the world. It's the hotel that Stephen King based the Overlook and the Shining on. And I love yeah. that hotel. Oh, so yeah, that whole area of Estes is just beautiful. Yeah. I used to work up there, so. How far is uh, Aurora, Colorado, from you? Um, you about, about an hour. Yeah, because that's where uh, Vinegar Syndrome actually has yeah. uh, a brick-and-mortar store there. Oh, uh, okay. I've, I've always wanted to go there. But, uh, All right, road trip. Yeah. Uh -oh. We're, we're losing Nate. Wait, is Nate getting in the car? How serious is this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nate just went out the door, so guess he's yeah. on his way to Colorado. Yeah, if you, if, if you really like, uh, have you bought any Vinegar Syndrome titles, JJ? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, 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 see, when I first started collecting, I've only been collecting since like 2020. Um, you know, I've always loved uh, horror movies and stuff. I just I I didn't really buy DVDs and stuff. I did a lot of streaming. Um, so in 2020, I started collecting, and I only bought the stuff that I I knew I loved. And, you know, stuff that I really liked. And then once I kind of filled all that up, uh, I, I found Vinegar Syndrome. And uh, most of the stuff I buy from them were blind buys. Because um, they put out some just beautiful artwork, um, amazing slip covers. Um, but they've got a lot of good movies, too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, definitely check them out if you have them. Oh, the yeah, for sure. The, the only problem is, is uh, they're pretty expensive, um, unless you're a subscriber. So they've got a subscription. Uh, which I did last year for the first time. And you're plopping down about a grand for the year and you get all the movies that they release throughout the year, which is somewhere between like three to six titles a month. Um, yeah. You're nuts. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. But then also you get 50% <laughs> off of anything else. So they've got other lines. They've got partner labels, you know, they got like gunpowder and sky, dark sky pictures, uh, all sorts of different partner labels, Agfa plus something weird. Um, and you get 50% off all that stuff, too. But, man, I've just really, really dove in and just really fell in love with them. Um, so, yeah, definitely check them out. Yeah, uh, I will. For sure. Yeah, in uh, about 2019, 2018, um, I had a little, little tiny one shelf of, uh, of, mm -hmm. of movies. And um, my dad, he actually was the movie collector. And his uh, his new wife that he got married to actually made him get rid of all of his movies oh, so nice. instead of selling them or like losing them he just gave them all to me and so they've been with me ever since and uh that's kind of what sparked uh well i mean i always kind of collected movies but that's what really sparked me into the whole like all right i need some more yeah yeah, it's definitely it's almost a almost a disease if you it's if a big thing <laughs> careful yes it is <laughs> yeah it really is that's what. That's anything with a collection, though. You like it enough, true. you're gonna keep wanting more. Yeah, that's true. Before I got in the movie collection, I was video, big on video games. I'm still big on video games, but nowadays I kind of stick to you know a couple games at a time. Um, so like, I play a lot of Dead by Daylight. I don't know. Do you do any video game playing? I do. I do. I also do Dead by Daylight. That's uh, that's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, that's my favorite for the past probably five years. Um, and any whatever the new Call of Duty is, but then um, prior to the movie collecting, I was just buying all sorts of you know PlayStation Three, PlayStation Two, Xbox, mm -hmm. PS Four, all that stuff. Um, so I had a pretty big collection, and still still have a pretty sizable collection of those. So with the with the movie collecting, because I so I have deliveries constantly, and my wife keeps looking at me like, oh God, no, not more. 
And I keep telling her, you know, it's not drugs. It could yeah. be <laughs> drugs. So it's That's fine. True. It could be drugs or hookers or... Yeah. Well, if you get a hooker in a box, you got another bunch of problems. That's it. Yeah, that's a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't ship those UPS, dude. So, not anymore. All right. Well, that's yeah, all that's right. Like... <laughs> all right. All right. So, so uh, this it's been a really good time, JJ. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. Tell yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Tell everybody yeah. where they can can find your uh, your channels again. Um, I am on TikTok and Facebook. All right, all right. So for JJ, Josh, Casey, and Joey, who's not here because he walked out because he's a man. <laughs> I've been Nate, and this is Bloodfest Podcast. If you're watching us on YouTube, click the like and the follow. Maybe give us a share. If you're listening to us on one of the podcast apps. Click that like, the follow, give us a five-star rating, and maybe tell a friend about it. As always, you can find us on the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, the TikTok, the Twitch, the Pinterest. Um, I think, oh, we're on Hive. We're on we're Hive on Pinterest? as well. Yeah, we're on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, dude, of course we're on Pinterest. That reminds me, Joey says your wife is going to run our socials for us. What? All seventy six of them. That's what no. he, that's what he told me. He said that she volunteered. She'd run our socials. Well, our yeah, she told me that, but she's got enough going on, and she ain't gonna have time for that. Oh, I'll just give her one of them. I'll just give her one of them. <laughs> give her one of them. Give her give her something to do. Anyway, you can also find us at www.bloodfestpodcast.com. For everybody else, that's me. I'm gone. Uh, catchphrase sign off. <laughs> <laughs>